So when you get this code, you just simply go in here, copy your code, go to the link that it has there, and you set up your account, and you put in your AppSumo code. And as soon as I do that, then it brings me into the back end and allows me to go through and start connecting my social media profiles. I can connect Twitter immediately, um, my Facebook profile page or groups, because I have the AppSumo deal, I can do 10 profiles, um, and I can have my LinkedIn, Instagram through Buffer. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Twitter immediately, and that will go through and link it up. So your uh, Twitter profile is immediately linked in and able to be aggregated towards. Um, so then when we return back, we bring back us, us back to the social feed, and we can come in and start connecting other profiles. Like I said, you can do your Facebook profile, pages, groups, my LinkedIn profile, um, and go ahead and start linking them up. Once they are linked, we can go ahead and move towards you can connect your Instagram or Google if you have a Buffer account um, or create a Buffer account so you can connect them. And then go up to your categories and you can start creating categories or custom categories that you want your um, feed to be brought in from. So it comes with default ones like Blog from RSS, Curated and Curated News. Um, if we want to start bringing in information, this is where we would do it. Um, so this is just a quick tour. Um, we can see that there's no posts already in these areas and we're gonna have to put some information where we want them to be grabbing information from. So I can create another category if I know that I want things specifically for social media um, curated posts and then I can just go ahead and put that there and I know that all the posts that are in that category, maybe I want them to be evergreen or I want them to be shared once. Um, I can just go ahead and put a little description for myself um, and then that will bring me towards having a single section specifically that I know that will be maybe used for one specific feed, okay? Once I've got that set up, um, I can go ahead and move towards, I can see there's no posts in there. I could go ahead and add a post if I wanted to. I can just grab one from Mashable and choose a post, grab the link for it, and add that to that social be curated page. So if I just grab this link and put it here, okay, I can choose. It'll automatically bring in the default photo that the Mashable had put in. I can choose a time if I know that I want it to have happen at a specific time. Um, this is a 24-hour calendar, so I want to go ahead and put in, if it's p.m., I want to put 13, and the time exactly I want to put it in. If I know there's a date I want to put it in, I can go ahead and put that in. Otherwise, I can schedule this style of category in my um, scheduler to pull from this category. So if I want it to come up only three times, if it's for Twitter, that might be something that people wouldn't notice if it would come in a few different times. Um, oh, and I do have to choose the category that it's coming in as, or the social profile that it will be used as. I could choose multiples for this one. I'm just going to say add post. Um, I didn't put any text in there because it's just pulling the link itself, and it will do that. Um, okay, add post. So now I see that that is in my social media curated list. Now if we go down, we can go to RSS. And you see we don't have any RSS feeds yet, but I can go ahead and add one. If I choose, I want it to be in my Twitter and to show on my Twitter feed, I can go ahead and choose that I want it to go into the RSS blog from RSS, grab a URL that I know has, there you go. Um, I know Social Media Examiner has some social media feed um, that will bring in some posts. So I will grab their feed and add it to mine to aggregate information from that.
Um, and if I can choose whether I want the ads to be automatically approved or I have to go in there and mark them as approved. So I do have to choose also which category I want them as. Um, I would suggest just go ahead and not have that clicked as approved because you never know what somebody else is posting on their blog and you may not want that immediately going out. Um, so once that's in there, you can go in and I also have the option if I had a pocket um, account that, I, that would relate to this particular category, I could put that in there and leave that. Or if I have a CSV, if I'm moving over from Hootsuite, then a lot of times I would be using um, CSVs to put all of my posts together and plan them out that way. So there you go. And once I come in here, I can see schedule the setup itself and then go in and add to each day. I can say at this particular time, I want um, and choose the category I want it to pull something from. I could have it just pick a random, random category or one specifically from Blogs from RSS or one specifically that I put in to the social media curated on Tuesdays and so on. So that will keep the calendar full as long as I've got enough approved posts in each of those categories. Okay, so moving along, I can see when my next posts for that particular platform are scheduled and what they would be. That way, if I need to make any changes, I can get a quick overview. I can see that tomorrow, which is Friday, I have this ske scheduled to go on Monday. I don't have anything scheduled for the weekend because I didn't put anything on my scheduler for Saturdays and Sundays, so I might want to go back in there and make those changes. I can also see that I haven't got it set up to be running yet. Um, so I can just quickly come in here and click it to go ahead and start running. And then go back over there and see my next post. Do, do, do. Uh, oops, one more down. And then see the next post. And I'll see that each of these are scheduled and it'll tell me the dates, it says that it's running, and it'll show me what is scheduled for each of those days because it's showing you what it's already, it already knows. It's going to be pulling from each of the um, categories that I've input in the um, things that it is pulled from those. Okay? And I can go through and I can see all the other options that it's showing me for my app mentions or all the other things you might want to tweak. So it's got a lot more going on in here. You can just play around with it. Um, and see what you like. Okay, so that's a quick back-end walkthrough of what Social Bee is, how powerful it is, and with just a couple minutes of setup, what I could do with it. Um, I can't wait to dig in further, and I'm sure it will assist you with your social media management or just your own personal social media to keep on top of it.